Hey, how's everyone doing? It's Zero here. And for today's video, I want to teach you how to play Piranha Planet, who's the first DLC character in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, this video is going to be both a mix of how to play and an analysis because obviously the character was released today. So while I've been studying a lot today to make this video, there we still have obviously questions that we'll know in a few months as to what the potential of this character could really look like. Regardless, though, uh, I've been studying the attributes of this character and whatnot, and I want to teach you as much as I can in this video. Uh, with the purpose so you can play a little bit better with uh, Piranha Plant and also so you can have more fun with the character. Now, let's just start with the very basics. So Piranha Plant has a very effective crouch and this is because obviously the plant retracts into the pot. So then uh, it becomes a lot smaller. So you can actually dodge a plethora of smash attacks, especially mid uh, mid mid height and um, I will say attacks directed at your head probably you can dodge as well. So like any kind of attacks that's like not a down tilt, you can likely just crouch instead of block and then punish. Uh, another thing to note is that Piranha Plant is a heavy character. Okay, this character is not light. Don't think like Sheik or Lucina. This character is a heavy. Um, so you're actually going to take quite a bit of hit to be knocked out. And you also have a good recovery as well. At least a recovery that gets places. Like Piranha Plant can get places with um, the recovery. It's not the best recovery in the universe, but it still gets places. Like, it's not like Bowser recovery where like if Bowser gets a, even a spike at 20%, he'll die. Uh, but Piranha Plant actually has a pretty decent recovery for being a heavy. Uh, and in terms of move uh, move speed, Piranha Plant is not bad at all. Actually, it's uh, Piranha Plant is not slow on the ground. The plant also does not have um, bad jump height. I will say it's above average, maybe slightly under. It just feels a little weird to double jump around um the airspeed of the character isn't the best i find it kind of hard to drift like if you uh jump and uh hold forward like you're not really going to be able to drift that much but especially if you try to switch your momentum like if you uh, jump forward and then try to drift back you actually don't really move back almost at all so that's one thing to notice that the character can sometimes feel a little stiff now let's just go into the moveset because i want to kind of break down every single part of piranha plant's moveset for you uh, one move that we'll start off with really quick is jab. The so jab is both a three part combo. You can also hold the A button for like this uh, multi jab thing, which can be good at the ledge because if someone gets up, you can just kind of hold it out there. And if they get hit by the rapid jab, then you can uh, just hold the A button and it will activate the three part combo. You can also just mash the A button for the multi jab part. And this obviously does a bit more damage. Honestly, this jab combo isn't anything really special. Um, it doesn't really knock you over at zero. The best thing I can see for um, a jab combo like this is that if you do the multi jab combo, you can knock them into the ground and then you can go for a dash attack if they miss the tank. That's pretty much as, as hard as I can see this jab combo being stretched out to. In general, it's going to be a very basic punish option. Now, let's move on to the tilt. We have down till, up till, and forth till. Up till is a very standard, honestly, not not anything really too special about it. Um, the up till does do a decent amount of damage and it kind of combos into itself. The thing is, though, that it, it actually has a very bad angle after you up till. It's like after you up till, the opponent naturally moves to the uh, moves away from you. And that's really bad because, like, if you're trying to link uh, linger many up tills together, you see how Gander will naturally just drift away because of the nature of the move. This actually makes it so you want to land maybe one or two up tills as a combo and then just like hit them after. You don't really want to go for like Mario up till style where you want to just up till up till all day. You have to kind of just stop at some point. One up till you can sometimes do jab immediately after. That's not a bad combo idea, especially at zero. But I will say up till in general will probably be a little on the side of your anti area. Like if you expect them to jump above you, you can just up till mid percent you can go for upper and whatnot but it's not the best of up tilts. i'm not i'm not too impressed with this up tilt four tilt however uh, i'm kind of impressed by this is because uh four tilt is actually a special four tilt it's a two-part four tilt so what it does is that if you press four and a piranha plant will do this bite forward now if you press a shortly after the first one you'll do the second bite and if you do the whole thing it does obviously a good amount of damage for a tilt but the cool thing about this is that if you actually time your uh, bites on the first one, you can actually just spam the first tilt, uh, just only the first part. This can actually be really good shield pressure. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you think they're going to go um, 
like they're going to punish you or if you want to mess up their timing that's when you can just do the second part randomly like that just to throw them off because it's a different hit it'll do more damage it might uh, it might just uh poke out their shield or something like that so it's actually a really good mix up so i'm a big fan of fourth kill especially the space in the ground i think it's actually a very very powerful move so i think fourth kill is definitely one of uh piranha plants uh, best moves now we have down kill which not very impressed by it mainly because of the lack of range down tilt doesn't have too much range like it's the kind of move you're gonna have to use pretty much on top of them really to land it the good thing though is that down tilt does have a good angle it's the kind of move that's going to give you something out of it uh not true combos but like it puts the opponent in a really bad spot like if you land down to like a 34 percent you're going to get a combo out of it like this you can also kind of do well fancy upper like that you can get a three-part combo so down tilt is one of your combo starters the problem is that it doesn't have too much range so i think this move is quite mediocre due to that now let's move on to aerials now piranha plant has pretty laggy aerials um and you can tell this because of the auto cancel windows for example i'm going to show you this so for forder no matter how quick you do forder out of a short hop it does not auto cancel you always land with landing lag now the landing lag isn't actually that bad as you can see it's not that bad and it's an aerial the problem with the forward though is that it actually has a sour spot and it has a sweet spot as you can see one of my attacks that did less damage and the next one did more damage that's because the move has a sour spot that is actually quite annoying plan there you go that's the sour spot right there now the problem with this move is that i want to say it's it's not necessarily it's not necessarily the lag of the move it's just the fact that it has a sour spot but the actual move itself isn't that impressive like it doesn't do too much damage and it's not exactly strong it's just it's just a decent normal forward it's very average but the problem with this move the biggest one is the fact that even if you do a uh, a full hub forwarder you actually the the, the land the lag of the move is so actually so high outside of landing lag that like if i mash jump out of this i can't like you see how i'm trying to do another jump out of here another aerial I'm trying to even air dodge and i can't so this means that even if you do forward out of a full hop you can you cannot do any other aerials so you have to commit to only one forward which is actually really bad and this is something that you can see with a lot of piranha plants aerials it happens with down air it happens with back air back air even lags on the way down out of full hop the only one it doesn't happen to is upper upper is piranha plants quickest aerial i will say in terms of entire duration so that's something important to know about all piranha plants aerials that they're kind of bad in the air um they're just they're just laggy in general um now let's just move on to the rest of the aerials down air is a pretty powerful spike and it's actually pretty easy to land because the hitbox is just pretty meaty as you can see it's just it's, just, it's easy to land it does have a i want to say A sour spot but it's kind of hard to land as you can see like it took me a few tries to actually land the sour spot so the downer is pretty easy to land that's a good thing for piranha plant now back air is one of your strongest aerials in terms of uh um, damage but the problem with this move is that it has no range as you can see the range is very very small like the only reason i'm actually hitting the move is because i'm moving slightly it's because I'm actually moving slightly backwards. Something that's interesting about this back is that it actually moves just slightly backwards. Like if you actually keep back in the air. You can see right there how I'm just moving slightly even though I'm actually not even touching my control stick at all. That's to be noted. But regardless, back air has terrible range. Not, not that good. Then we're moving on to neutral air, which is going to be your main auto shield option, which is an arrow that you're going to be using quite a bit. So... Like even neutral out of a full hub, you have to land out of a full hub, which is really bad. the move lasts for way too long of a time. It just lasts for way too long. I don't understand why they made it last for so long. Regardless, though, um, neutral doesn't really give you almost doesn't really give you any kind of true combos. Like you, for example, you can uh, land neutral quick and then mash jab if you don't land the finisher. 
Like that, you could do that. You could do grab. You could do fourth tilt, or you could do down tilt. So those are like the main options you have when neutral, but most of the time you're going to be blocking and then you're going to use neutral to get out of problems. That's basically going to be the main way you're going to be using neutral in general. As you can see, all of the aerials have a lot of lag and it's, it's, it's pretty disappointing as to why these aerials are so laggy. Now let's go to the throws. Pretty normal grab. It's not a feather grab or anything like that. The range is okay. I think it's average, I want to say. I'm not sure if it's average or slightly above average, simply because it's hard to measure exact grab measurements. But all you need to know is that the grab itself is on the faster side. As you can see, you don't really get that punish for missing a stand-in grab. And a dash grab is pretty standard as well. Now, in terms of uh, throws, I want to say... For Plant's throws, you don't have a kill throw. There's none of these throws actually kill a high percent. Uh, when I was testing with high percentages, none of these actually yielded any good results at higher percentage like it's not like if they're like a 120 and you back throw you know we don't have one of, we don't have one of those but what we do have is that we have damage in throws so prana plant up throw i want to say let me just put this here there we go all right so now just to give you an idea up throw is your most damage in throw Down throw is your combo throw, but it does the least amount of damage. Fourth throw is positional advantage. And uh, actually, fourth throw and back throw do the exact same amount of damage. As you can see here, they do the exact same amount of damage. Back throw and fourth throw are your positional throws. Up throw is when you just want to do damage and you know you're not going to get a combo of it. Also, Piranha Plant's pummel does a lot of damage. And it's easily spammable. So you can always add like two of them really quick. And then just throw, or even at least one, and does 1.7. So that's actually really good. But regardless, you're going to be down throwing for the most part. Down throw forward seems to be your go to. You can even do like down throw, sure, hope neutral air. Border, you can do down throw into upper, into upper juggles. Down throw into maybe upper, up throw, upper, forward air, you know, combos like that. That's going to be your main combo uh, tree out of down throw. So pretty much any time you get a grab, you're going to go for down throw for the most part. In terms of smash attacks, down smash is probably your worst down sma uh, smash attack, I would say. Mainly because it doesn't have too much range. And the initial, like the front hit box is pretty mediocre. It does do 15 damage though, but uh, the back hit is actually stronger. As you can see, it does more damage in a sense farther, but even then it's pretty weak. I think your main go-to smash attacks are going to be, I think your main one is going to be up smash and force smash. Up smash is because it actually has a very interesting hitbox where like you want to you want to land the bite of Piranha Plant, but it actually has a hitbox on the ground that drags you to the sweet spot like that. And it's actually really strong. Like, look, Ganondorf is at 100%. On charge up smash is killing Ganondorf really, really solidly. In fact, you can kill Ganondorf probably at 95. Actually, it almost killed. Maybe 96. But that was slightly charged. 97. 98. I mean, killing Ganondorf at 98 with an up smash is pretty notable. I mean, I think this is a very, very strong up smash. But the biggest thing about it is that it has a, a hitbox that's both in front of him and behind him that drags people into the sweet spot, which is the big thing. Because if you get punished, at, if you get hit out of uh, on your shield, you can indeed up smash out of shield, which is one of your quickest options because it's a jump, making up smash one of your best options out of shield. Why? Because at low percent, um, it can actually be a combo starter or a juggle option. And I kill percent is, is going to be one of your main kill offs. So I think this is actually um, really good news. Yeah, even at 10%, this move is, if the move is just as has to ridiculous knockback, like you will have to land this move at zero for it to um, give you some kind of juggle out of it. So, like, at low percent, don't be afraid to up smash it shield because you can put people into bad positions with it. You want people above you generally, uh, especially with this character. So you can up smash landings like this. And then force smash is kind of similar to a uh, inclined force smash, I will say, in terms of style, but it has less range. It doesn't have that much range, but it does a lot of damage, as you can see. Very damaging uh, smash attack. It's the one that does your most amount of damage, and it's actually pretty strong as well. So I put Ganon at 98, the same percent that up smash killed, and he still killed. So as you can see, you were not gonna have issues killing with smash attacks for Piranha Plant. 
the problem is going to be dealing damage uh, and probably landing the killing blow. But if you do land your, your blows, it's going to kill. Now, let's look at uh, the specials. In terms of Piranha Plant's recovery, the recovery is solid for a heavy character because you don't expect heavy characters to have recoveries that actually get places. The way the recovery works is that you have a hitbox around the middle of your body, which means that if someone misbases something, they're going to get punished. But you're still going to be vulnerable from up and above use, which is a big, 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 big blend spot. I think Piranha Plant is going to get edge guard a lot. So this means the recovery is not that good. It gets places, but it's very vulnerable. Now, the thing is, you can aim it. So you can kind of just switch around your direction to kind of defend yourself a little bit because you can kind of go up and then move a little bit like that just to make so the hitbox hits them because you can tip the hitbox a little bit like kind of like the the the, the leaves <laughs> the le the, per the piranha plant leaf arms <laughs> uh, if that helps but i think this recovery is not that good i don't think this recovery is gonna defend you that much it gets places but you're going to be pretty vulnerable during it down b we have this uh this, this very interesting gimmick I think it's I think it's this attack is probably going to be a gimmick because it's going to catch people off guard the most when they don't know uh, about it. But it likely is the kind of thing that you can just punish because it has one big weakness. So wait, what happens is you hold the B button and then it'll all release at a certain point. And then you can also move left or right to tip the plant. But once you tip the plant, you commit to that direction. Like once I tip it over, I can't change my mind and go up. So th basically, the tip in the pot will be able to tell your opponent uh, exactly what you're doing with it, which is a problem. Basically, the more you hold B, the longer it reaches. And it actually reaches really, really far. I, it can reach pretty much one half of the final position. And it's pretty strong as well. It does a lot of damage. Well if you charge it. It's probably best to just edge guard. Like that. But even then, it's, I mean, it's going to be hard to land. You're going to have to, like, super read something. Like even even now that I know he's recovering that angle, it's hard to. Play. So I think this move is going to be mainly good for uh, platform pressure when someone's like above you and they're not really coming up. But you have to hold it for a long time to reach a platform. So I think even then it's going to be a pretty mediocre move. For the neutral B, I think it's actually one of the very best moves that Piranha Plant has. Now the move in terms of basic functions, you pretty much press the B button, you have to hold it, and you'll keep the ball above you. If you tap it immediately after the, 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 the ball pretty much just goes back and the, the plant will swallow it. Or uh, if you press B while you're holding the B button, you can press left or right to kind of blow the ball over. And depending on the timing of it, um, it goes farther or goes closer to you. You know, it changes the distance pretty much. Um, and it does also 22 damage or pretty much 20 plus damage because uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have a fixed damage right here. Oh, we do have stolen moves on. Yep. So, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the damage behind it is, is actually ridiculous. But that's not the reason why it's so good. The reason I think this might potentially be Piranha Plant's best move or one of the best moves is because it's a combo starter. So every time you're going to do pretty much every time you're going to do upper or you put the opponent in range of upper, you want to land or mash neutral B. But let me give you an example, right? So I'm going to land upper here. There you go. That's a true combo right there. That's a lot of damage. But you can also do other fun things. So for example, you can do down throw to upper into neutral B. And also, you can also do platform combos because you can land multiple uppers. And then you can finish it up with forward things like that. And also, something interesting to note is that uh, since upper can connect so well into neutral B, uh, you can actually connect multiple of them in platform can uh, combos. So you can actually do very high damaging combos thanks to the ball because it does so much damage and because it doesn't send people too far and it does so much damage. Like, for example, look at that very basic combo that I just did with day one Piranha Plant. I think this character is actually going to have a lot of combos and it's going to be pretty threatening in, in general. So that's uh, that's one of his best moves right there. Uh, let's move on to side B where I think this is the best. Th I think this is the best special by far. So what side B does is that you p essentially put a poison uh, screen. Uh, think of it like smoke screen, but it's actually like a, like a poison. So what it does is that if you stay in this in this screen here, you take damage, but you take no knockback whatsoever. But it does an absurd amount of damage. Just to give you, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna fully charge it. And I'm gonna put it on Ganon. As you can see, it does an absolutely absurd amount of damage. But the problem is that. Your opponent is never going to be staying in it for too long. They're going to jump, block, immediately move out of there. So, like, you're only really going to land, like, maybe 10% or 8% from it. 
the good thing about it is that you don't have to actually charge it the full way through. I recommend charging it mainly because you can just charge it on down times like where your opponent's off the level or well, after you take a stock or maybe after you, you you lost the stock, you can charge it for free. There's many ways where you can get it for free. But the cool thing is that you actually don't need to fully charge it because if you do the the uncharged one, it actually has it actually still has a very big uh, um, smoke screen anyway. Like obviously the fully charged one uh, is bigger but the uncharged one actually does a lot of damage anyway and you can surprise your opponent with it because it's it's quick it's pretty it's rather quick i will say all things considered the move is kind of quick so i think this move is best used when people are at the ledge because like you can fully charge it as they're coming back from the level and then you put it over the ledge to force them to get up and then you can punish their options as they're trying to get out of the poisons because they don't want to take too much damage it will pretty much force people to not uh regular get up which is amazing because then you can start punishing rolls or jumps. So it could actually be a really good option to get some free damage there. Um, you can also use it in case uh, you break some of the shield. You can just start spamming side B and then get a lot of damage for free. And then get a really early kill that way. That's probably the next best way I can see it. But I think the side B is also good um, to win neutral. Because you can pretty much put the side B here. And then you can start... Um, because you can do multiple moves while the side B is there. So you cannot use it to approach. You can put the side B here. And then you can just forward it around, jump around. So I think it's going to be one of Piranha Plant's best moves by far. I think if you want to be good at Piranha Plant, you have to be good at using Side B. Now, that's pretty much my general breakdown and analysis and just pretty much how to play Piranha Plant, how to use every single one of Piranha Plant's moves. Uh, I like it just explained in this video what's good, what's bad, how to use each one of them. As a final note, uh, Piranha Plant is one, of the, is one of the best taunts I've ever seen. <laughs> Up taunt is really funny. <laughs> this is side taunt and then this is down taunt. <laughs> i think that's pretty cool well with that said guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching guys make sure to subscribe hit that bell button if you want to keep up with my videos daily uploads i hope you guys enjoyed this video learn a thing or two about piranha plant and i'll see you guys around in another video let me know if you want to see more additional piranha plant content and what you would like out of it maybe a gameplay video or something like that let me know and i'll make it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys around